So why is a join up actually done? Well a join up is usually done to create a bond between you and your horse. It creates some, creates some form of respect and that respect usually plays out into your riding if you do ride this horse. Um, but yeah, primarily it's just to create a bond between your horse and you as a rider and try and show a form of leadership and a form of trust between both the horse and rider. So yeah, let's talk about how we actually do a join up. So I point him off with my finger in the direction that I want him to go and I'm driving him with that whip towards his hindquarters, his engine. Um, I would never hit him with the whip, I never do. All I do is wave it around or hit it on the floor, that's it. And that's just building up that pressure and encouraging him to move forward. Um, so I'm constantly, if you notice I'm like a triangle, so my hand is, my left hand at the moment is towards his head and my right hand is to, with the whip is towards his hind quarter. I'm the point of the triangle, he's the base of the triangle. So that's how I like to look at it. Now I'm cutting off directions, so I walk in front of him where he's about to go, change the whip, and change the hand that the whip is in, and then I point him in the direction, signaling him to go the other direction. Then to get him to canter, I perk up my voice and I go tick, 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 and I make noises, and I increase the pressure of the whip. Now here I start noticing that his inside ears locking onto me so I halt I say whoa and the idea is is he should spin around and face me which he has done now we have done a join up before so he understands what he has to do um, a join up is one of those and I make a little bit of effort here you know I say good job and I kind of walk around him because a lot of people say that if they don't understand straight away you should send them back out but I feel like I want to give him a chance and he does understand it here so I give him a chance to understand what he has to do the idea is he should follow me behind me. He should never cut me off. Um, that's actually a bit of a sign of disrespect. So he should constantly stay behind me and shouldn't come up beside me unless I encourage him to. So I'm spinning around and wherever I go, he should come with me. So I'm patting him, you know, I'm rewarding him. Um, especially if you had someone driving a whip at you and you walked into them to follow them around, I would say that's a bit of a sign of trust. So I'm rewarding that trust that he's given me. So I'm constantly giving him, you know, that very good, good job, good job, speaking to someone here, checking if they want to come in. Now, like I said, once your horse comes into you and follows you around, the join up is complete. I am just, re as you see, I repeat this process a lot so you guys really get the idea, but this here is the completed join up. This is all you need to do, but I do keep doing it so that you guys checking the time. Um, so that you guys really understand what's going on. So once he's, st he's still following me, if I halt, he halts. It's very, very simple process. It's really easy to do, I find. The first time I did this, it probably took me 15 minutes for him to follow me around, but now he understands what he has to do. So I'm signaling him off again, pointing where I want him to go, and slowly building up that pressure of the whip. As soon as he listens to me, I release the pressure. And every time he trots off when I perk off my voice, perk up my voice, I constantly reward him and say, good boy, like stuff like that. So that was actually quite good, you know. I He looked at that horse coming in into the equestrian center. I clicked with my tongue and he shot his head back forward and looked where he was going. Here he gets distracted and he stops before he changes direction. So as you saw, I increased the pressure there again. The idea is he should be going very forward. I shouldn't have to drive him too much, but he is pretty lazy, so it did take a lot to drive him. Canter, 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 stop, I halt. The idea is he should walk into me. We've seen that. Good job, Winston. So usually he doesn't come all the way in. He has before, but that's okay. I, I tried to make the effort too. I walk around him a little bit so he understands that he has to follow me. That's basically pretty much it, that all you have to do to do a join up. And I do this a couple of times, like I said, just to give you guys a general idea. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much all you have to do. 
Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next video. Sorry guys, just to add a quick point as well. If your horse doesn't want to do the join up and you stop and they're looking at you but or they don't come into you at all and they keep trotting around, as soon as you've given the chance to come into you and they haven't come into you and they're showing no sign of putting any effort in at all, send them back out again, drive them really forward and just keep repeating the process until it happens.